In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hide and show containers on Click in Elementor. Now you can also apply this method to sections. It's going to work the exact same way. Now this is where we're going to be creating. So we have a how was your experience box and we can click either great experience or bad experience. If we click great experience, it's going to show us a great experience form. And if we click bad experience, it's going to show us a bad experience form. And if I click on this, it's going to go ahead and remove our top container that we had. So we can't really rate it anymore. And it allow us just to add our experience here. Now, if I refresh this and if I click bad experience, it's going to go to the bad experience form and the user or visitor can fill that out. Now that's pretty much what we're going to be creating. Now I know that the video is a little long, but that's because I go through creating all the containers. And I also show you how to write the code from scratch. And that's going to go ahead and teach you some jQuery. And it's going to really help you out in the future. And now hopefully all that considered, you watch the entire video because I promise you're going to get a lot out of it. Now I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and begin here. So open up your Elementor editor. Now you can set up your background same way as I do. Have it dark if you want, or you can have a light background. Doesn't really matter. So go ahead and drag and drop your container. And we're going to probably drag and drop about let's see three containers we're going to need. So there's one here. And what I usually like to do is just duplicate one of these here and then duplicate one more. There we go. So the first container here is going to go ahead and store our title and it's going to store two icon boxes. And then the second one is going to store a title and a form. And the third one is going to be a title and a form as well. So go into your elements. Let's go ahead and drag and drop a title here. Let's just name this title. And then we can center this. Now what I would actually like to do is add another container inside my first container. I should say my first inner container. So as you can see here, we have three containers. We have obviously our main container and then three inner containers. And then our first inner container has a container here. And then we also have a heading. And there's a reason we're doing it this way. And you'll kind of see here in a bit. So go back to your elements and search for the icon box. Go ahead and drag that in here. Let's remove the description. And let's type in great. And then let's change the icon here. Search for our thumb icon. Choose this one here. That one there. There we go. Now before I duplicate this one, I want to go ahead and stylize this a little bit. So let's go into style. Let's adjust the font here. So for our main heading, I'm going to do 1.2 rem. Or how does 1.5? Eh, let's do 1.3. 1.3 rem. That should be fine. Now that we have that, let's go into advance here. Um, let's go ahead and set this to the center. That's fine. Now let's add some padding to this. I'm going to do about, about 15 should be fine. There we go. Let's go to background. Let's go to hover classic here. And then let's give this a lighter background or a darker, I should say. Um, but a little bit lighter than our background that we have right now, currently. Um, let's just do something like this. There we go. Let's copy this. Just because we're going to end up using that later. Now let's go into border. Set the border radius to 10. There we go. Now we can duplicate this. So right click it, duplicate it. Now we want these side by side more as a row. So let's click on our container here and let's set this to row horizontal. There we go. Then we want to go ahead and center this. So justify content center. There we go. And we want to give this a little bit of a gap. So not too much of a gap, but somewhat, right? Okay. 
Now let's go to stylize this one a little more. So our first one, let's go to let's go to style our color here. Let's make it a a green. So we could change that icon a little bit. Let's do maybe something like this should be fine. Not too harsh, just something like that. All right. Should be good there. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for this one. But we're going to change the icon to the thumbs down. We're going to go to style here. And we're going to change it to a red icon, a red color, I should say. And let's go ahead and cho choose this one here. Something not so vibrant, right? Just something a little more smooth in the eyes. So that should be good there. Let's see how this looks. That's fine. I just want to give this a little bit of a gap though. So um, let's click on our, our container here. And I usually like to do rem actually for uh, my gap, but I just set it like this should be fine. That'll work. Now let's click on our main container and let's also adjust the gap here too. Let's do rem. There we go. That should be fine. Now that other part doesn't really matter because the containers are going to disappear anyway. So, <laughs> um, so let's add some content to these other containers. Let's duplicate this one. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm just going to type in so we know which one's which great experience, right? And we're going to paste this one in here. And we're going to call this bad experience. Now we're going to just drag and drop our form. Not really going to style my form here. Just going to use it as an example. So I'm going to copy this one. And there we go. So as you can see, we have both of these containers with the form and a heading here. So actually, looks like a form isn't inside this container. So to make sure that we have that working. There we go. All right. So now let's go ahead and um, give classes to these containers. So the first one is going to be our rate container. And then our great experience button here that we have. Let's give these a class as well. Go to advance. And for a class, we're going to call this great great um, dash BTN. BTN just stands for bun. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one here. And we just got to remember to change the name here to bad. Bad experience. Let's go to advance. Go to CSS classes and let's type in um, bad BTN would be fine. So we have great BTN and bad BTN. All right. Now let's add classes to these containers. Go to advance. Our class should be great dash container. This one here is going to be bad dash container. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and start adding our, our um, JavaScript or our jQuery. So search for the HTML element. And we're going to try to grab this drag this all the way to the bottom here. So we don't want it there. So I'm just going to set it right here. And then I'm going to move it around in my navigator. So we want it actually all the way at the bottom here. We don't want it inside this one. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually close out all of these here. And then put this one over here. 
and then drag it right here. There we go. So it's outside our other um, three containers here. And it's just inside our main container. Let's go ahead and just save this just in case. Update it here. There we go. Now let's start writing our um, jQuery. So let's add a script tag first. Make sure you click into your HTML code here. Now, we can either add it in here within our HTML element, or we can add it within our element or code. And then you just got to assign it to the page. But we're going to just do it like this for this example. So let's type in our script. And let's do a const. And we're going to do the money sign there equals jQuery, jQuery, okay. And then we're going to run another const. And we're going to target our, our buttons. So we're going to do a great btn equals money sign brackets like that oval shape brackets, S single, single quote there. And then we're going to type in our, our class that we're going to target. And I believe we named our bun here. This is great BTN. So we named it great dash BTN. There we go. Now we're just going to copy this one. Let me see if I can just do it this way here. All right. So we're just going to have to do it this way. I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. And then we're going to do our bad button now. So we're going to do bad BT in there. We're going to change this here to bad btn, right? Just like that. And then we're going to grab our const here. Oh, I'm writing another one. And we're going to do this one can probably be our, um, our rate container, which is this one here, this box. So let's call this rate dash container. And you know what, let's change the name first. That's very important. Now instead of typing rate container here, I'm going to type in rate box. And I'm going to copy this one. Paste it. And you know what that was right. It was more so these. So now this one, we're going to target our great container, right? And we're going to call this great box. Let's copy this. And we're going to call this one bad container. And call this bad box, right? So now let's go ahead and write a function here. So our function that we want is an event listener, which is going to be on click, but we're going to be using jQuery for it. So it's going to be a shortcut. So we want to listen for our um, great experience button. We want to listen for a click. So if someone clicks our great experience button, let's go ahead and type that. Uh, it's going to be our great BTN here dot click oval shape brackets, single quotes. Um, actually, not sorry, not single quotes. Um, we want to run our arrow function. So an arrow function in there, just like so. And then we want to go ahead and hide, or sorry, not hide. We want to go ahead and show our great experience. But something that I forgot here is I need to go ahead and hide these right now. So um, I need to hide the great experience and the bad experience boxes, right? 
So let's click on our main container here, go to advanced, custom CSS, and this is where we're gonna type it in. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can, ha you can just add this in your customizer, no problem. So let's type in our great dash container box, comma, and we're gonna do our bad dash container box. Curly brackets, and we're gonna do display of none. And that will remove those for now. So let's go back into our HTML. So whenever we click our great experience, we wanna show our um, great container box, right? So let's go ahead and get our great box. It's right here. And we're gonna do a show. Now this is a method. So we have to add our oval shape brackets there. And let's spell this correctly, show, right? So let me test this out just to see if it works. So we click on this and it works here. Now it's perfect. Now the only thing that we're missing is we want this section here, our rate container to disappear. And we only want to have the form now. And we also want to maybe give this a, um, a cursor pointer, right? So we know that we can click on this. So what I would do is maybe go into, um, you know what, we can just do it from here. Click on this box here, icon box, go into custom CSS, let's type in selector, colon, um, curly brackets, I mean, sorry. Selector, curly brackets, and then let's type in a cursor, colon, and pointer, right? There we go, just like this. So now let's go ahead and just um, copy this. Let's go into our bad experience box. Let's go in here and let's paste the same thing. Now, as you can see, whenever we hover over this, we have this cursor pointer now, right? That lets us know that we can click on this. And that just makes the user experience better there. So there we go, right? Now what we wanna do is go ahead and hide this, this um, our rate container section. So we don't have um, the option to rate anymore. So go into HTML and we wanna go ahead and type in our rate box because that's the one that we wanna hide, right? We wanna do rate um, box right here, dot, Hide, because hide is a method. And we do those over, over shape brackets there. And then end it with a um, semicolon. And now let's hit update. There we go, that's working properly. Oh, we pretty much just wanna do the same thing to the bad experience. And we're just gonna do, copy this, paste it down here. Let's go ahead and end this one. Um, with our uh, semicolon there. And instead of great BTN, we're gonna do bad BTN, right? So bad BTN, which is this one here. And instead of the great box, we wanna go ahead and show the bad box. And then we still wanna go ahead and hide the rate box, right? So let's hit update now. So let's test out the bad experience. There we go. The bad experience is working and the great experience is working. And that's it, that's all there is to it. If you guys did end up enjoying this video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos.